Hey, this is Paul Solt from Super Easy Apps. Welcome back. In this lesson, we're taking it a step further. We've been able to get some user input, but now we have to do a calculation. We have to do some math, and we're doing the math on behalf of the user because the iPhone can do math calculations really quickly. There's no point in you doing it unless you want to exercise your memory and skills, which is probably a good thing, but we can let technology sort of help us with certain things like this when we don't want to be bothered. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. We need to update our calculate all tips method. So currently we're getting the subtotal. We want to do something with that. And in order to sort of move forward, we need another method. And we like to break up the logic into these different methods so that we have concise chunks of code that we can reuse elsewhere. And we want to do a calculation for a tip. And so to get started, let's create a new method called calculate tip which can do that for us. Just type what you see here, pause the video if you need to catch up. Creating a new method, it's gonna take two parameters. Both are going to be the double type. And it's going to return a double. And so in the, the example down below, we had an optional value. This time we're gonna return a number and so there's this concept in Swift of having a, a number and having something that might be a number or might not be a number. That's what we call an optional value. In this, we're gonna assume that we always have a number. We're gonna always assume that we're starting with a number. And this allows us to simplify our algorithm. This is a pretty straightforward calculation. All we need to do is multiply our subtotal by the percentage. And we're gonna make the assumption in this method that the percentage is going to be out of 100. So if I say it's 10%, I'm going to write 10. And I'm not going to do it out of 0 to 1. So I won't do 0 0.1. But in order to do the calculation correctly, we actually have to convert it to that. So let's go ahead and type the algorithm as so. So we just multiply using the asterisks. And we say tip percentage divided by and here we just need to make sure we do 100.0. That's really important. If you don't do that, the math won't work out correctly and you'll have strange results. You can actually pause the video and try that right now and see what happens. Let's use this method. So given the subtotal, what we want to do is we want to calculate some tips. So I'm going to just assume these are going to be called tip one, tip two, and tip three. This is going to give you the option if you choose to change this in the future. So you don't have to lock into the 10%, the 15%, or the 20% that we have in the current interface. So giving you some options to work with. So let's go ahead and calculate those tips. All I want you to do is type what you see here, and you should be able to get this working. So we're going to say calculate and then tip, which is our new method that we created. We're going to give it the subtotal, which is the, the value up top, and the tip percentage, I can just give it a 10. And we can do 10.0 just to be clear that it's a, a double value. We'll do the same thing for the other ones. So if 10% and 20% and 15% are not common values or you don't tip at all, maybe this app doesn't make sense for you. But if you're from America, this is sort of a standard thing. 10% is if you had okay service and generally 20% is the norm, I would say. that's, And you can do more than that if you really like them. So as you get the hang of it with the tab and the enter keys, you can type faster. So we now have three different tip values. The next step is to update the UI. So now we're finally making that, that connection back to the user interface. We're going to do this calculation, which we've just done, and now we want to present that to the user. And so we will do that by sending this back to our tip labels. And so I called these 10% tip label. So we're going to have to get that one first. If you wanted to, you could convert this to tip one, tip two, and tip three, if that makes it more practical, if you're going to change these values, because you might not use the same values in the future.
Next, I'll do the 15% and then the 20%. And so this process, we're actually going back to a text string. So we have to format it. And so in order to get a quick string from our number, we're going to do it like so. So pause the video and you should be able to run the app. We'll see the app starts and now we can click in here. And if we update, use the keyboard down here, let's do $68. And now we see those values. Now we're starting to notice that there's a little bit more work to do. We need to format this so that it looks like currency again, because right now it doesn't look like currency. And that's something that we're gonna do in the next video. We're gonna work with that number formatter again, except this time we're gonna go in the reverse direction. We're taking a, a number that we've done a calculation with, and we're going to be formatting it to look like a currency in whatever locale you are located in. So here in America, we have dollars. Hey, this is Paul. Real quick before you go, I've got all the source code over here on the right. If you wanna download the source code, go to the link that's over on the right or down below. You can grab that code. If you like that, click the like button. Also, before you go, once you go to this site, you'll see a little form. If you fill that out, type your email address in here and click the download now button. That's gonna send you an email with all the source code. So just check your email in order to get started. All right, so this has got a lot of design resources from Sketch to PNGs to Xcode projects. is gonna be very useful. Lastly, click the subscribe button, which is over my head. If you want to get updates when I have new videos, I'm gonna be posting regular content on a weekly basis. And then last but not least, just like this video if you found any of the topics that I talked about helpful. I'm gonna be showing you the next step in the next video. So let's go do that.